so I'll be honest with you. I'm not a huge reader, but whenever a lot, like a big novel comes out and dominates the literary world, I'll make sure to get my hands on it. These days, directors will flock for the legal rights of these books within months of it becoming part of pop culture. And a lot of them have become my favourites, and they produce some fantastic films with strong, talented female characters. Hermione, po Hermione Potter? No. Hermione Granger from Harry Potter, Katniss Everdeen from Hunger Games, and Anna Steele from Fifty Shades of Grey. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never really seen a film as over-advertised as Fifty Shades of Grey. I mean, come on, every bus, train station, and magazine was covered with the images of Anna, Anna and Mr. Grey. And I could guarantee you, as you walk down Milan Road, you'd see at least two forms of advertisement for this 18-plus movie. And it got me thinking, how are we as a society comfortable with the fact that our children are witnessing images and trailers of a movie that depicts a seemingly toxic relationship. You are outraged when any form of media depicts a happy gay relationship. Heterosexual abuse is more acceptable than homosexual love, and that's a problem. Now, if Christian Gay was an average bloke in Adidas trackies instead of a Tom Ford suit, I don't think it'd be a love story. That would be an episode of Criminal Minds. I mean, if anything like that occurred in real life, you'd all be running to the police station. And I know to some, it's just a book or it's just a movie. But we need to understand that books and movies are a representation of our society to some extent and can influence our mindsets, to, especially towards relationships. For example, I'd always thought when a guy said, I won't take no for an answer, was passionate or romantic. Or when a guy was possessive of me, I should be thrilled because that's a sign he actually likes me. Young people, especially girls, are taught to romanticize abusive traits. And this is evident not only in movies, but in music too. Love the Way You Lie by Rihanna and Eminem. And it goes, the song goes, You've hit me twice, yeah, but who's counting? I may have hit you three times, I'm starting to lose count. But together we'll live forever, I found the youth fountain. And our love is crazy, it's nuts, but I refuse counseling. Now this song explicitly glamorizes the idea of an abusive relationship, yet still won Song of the Year for the Teen Choice Awards? Just let that sink in. We all know that from a young age, we're all dictated into gender roles, and our parents don't even realize they're doing it because they too have been influenced by the media. Telling boys that they need to be masculine emotionists, telling girls that they need to decide between having a career and having children. And we all know that the media doesn't control us. We aren't puppets. It's up to us to make that change. We are the generation of Hermione Grangers and Katniss Everdeens, the generation that will speak for themselves. Thank you and good evening.